this episode of Drunken History, we visit a bar that's been quenching Austin's thirst for almost 80 years, the Long Branch Inn. This small saloon on the corner of 11th and Lydia Street is a treasured throwback to Austin's emergence from the dark days of Prohibition. Everyone knows that the Great Experiment was one of the most ridiculous notions ever passed through Congress. But to the many German immigrants who settled in Austin in the late 1800s, not to mention their children, it must have been especially difficult. Austin is, and was, a thirsty town. And though its proximity to the Mexican border helped provide a taste every now and then, the city couldn't wait for the repeal of the Volstead Act. When it was repealed, beer trucks stood in line to deliver to the bars that opened their doors throughout the city on that fateful day. And that's when the Long Branch Inn began, just after Prohibition ended. It's been a bar since 1935. It's called Pike's Place, I believe, um, until the 70s or something. And then, or 65, 65, it became Long Branch Inn. Now, the name change is kind of interesting. It stems from the popularity of a certain television show called Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke was the longest running series in TV history from 1955 to 1975. It was set in Dodge City of the 1800s, and many of the scenes took place in one of the bars made famous in that city, the Long Branch Saloon. This Long Branch, reinvented for Austin, was one of dozens of that name that opened during the Gunsmoke's 20-season reign. But, as is often the case, the bar soon fell into disarray, until Kevin and his partner found it and nursed it back to health. Well, when we came in here, it had a drop tile ceiling in here. All these windows had been mortared and boarded up. So the place hadn't seen sunshine in, uh, you know, years. So we really, we just ripped open the windows and, and uh, ripped down the tiles, ceiling, cleaned up the rafters, threw some paint on it, cleaned up the bar, stripped the bar. That, that was the longest procedure right there. That was three days of my life right there. It was the original bar from the Driscoll Hotel, which was built in, what, 1890 some odd. So the bar itself is probably 120, not older. And that's the back bar? Yes. Yeah, yeah. When I found it, it was all painted black and covered in, you know, banners and whatnot. You didn't even really notice it, but yeah. It's actually a pretty impressive little piece of furniture. Now, the Long Branch Inn has become a local hangout again and is a popular spot for young Austinites in the area. It's mostly neighborhood folks, you know, 30s and up. 30s. It's always kind of been a neighborhood bar. Though. Yeah, when I first took it over, it was just an old man bar. There was, you know, a handful of old timers hanging out, you know. There's a picture of a one guy, Arthur, right there. Yeah. Yeah, just a bunch of old guys hanging out, you know. So, it was, so you know, you know, and the neighborhood's changed too, so it's become a little more younger and hipsterish. They feature a full bar with specialty house drinks and a great selection of bottled beers and local brews. They rarely feature live music anymore, preferring to keep the place small and local, which is probably why the occasional celebrity is able to sneak in. Jack White comes in here a lot. Shoots at pool, yeah. And uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's sister, I forgot what her name was, but she came in here and chatted us up, got a little drunk with us. It was kind of fun. That was fun. Today, the Long Branch Inn simply serves thirsty local crowds, just like it's been doing for the last 80 years. Low key, relaxed, and with no pretense. And thanks to Kevin and his appreciation for old dive bars like this, it promises to do the same for years to come.